To help diagnose strep throat infections, throat specimens are often collected in the provider's office. Begin by collecting your materials, non-sterile gloves, face protection, a sterile swab and tongue depressor, and a transport medium. Introduce yourself and identify your patient using two identifiers. Claudia, I'm the medical assistant today. Candace, nice to meet you. You too. Can you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Yeah, it's Candace Roberts. Then explain the procedure. So we're going to be doing a throat swab today. Okay. I'm going to be using this light to look in. So I'm going to Position your patient so that the light shines into her mouth. Sanitize your hands. Observe standard precautions by putting on gloves and using face protection. Remove the sterile swab from the wrapper and hold it with your dominant hand. Hold the tongue depressor in your non-dominant hand. Ask your patient to open her mouth and say, Ah. Okay, I want you to say ah for me. Depress the tongue with the depressor. This will allow you to see the back of the throat and help prevent contamination of the sterile swab. Using a figure eight motion, gently swab the back of the throat between the tonsillar pillars. Be sure to sample the tonsils and any reddened, patchy areas, white pus pockets, or purulent areas. Avoid touching the rest of the mouth or the tongue with the swab. Place the swab securely in the transport medium and label the specimen right away. It's now ready to send for testing. Dispose of your contaminated supplies in a biohazard waste container. Disinfect your work area. Remove and dispose of your gloves. Sanitize your hands. Remember to document the procedure in your patient's health record.